Howdy, it's Kathy from Rust Paper Scissors, and I wanted to um, show you a new item that I've listed in my Etsy shop. For a long time, I had these cross stitch patterns of these French um, designs, and I wanted to use them for a long time. And finally, I sat down and, and stitched them, and I thought they would make cute. Uh, altered file folder covers. So the first one, the one that I'm going to go through and show, is um, called Les Mademoiselles. Uh, I call it a French themed fashion altered file folder and uh, or maybe haute couture. Uh, I don't know if I'm even saying that right. It probably sounds silly. Um, but I wanted to, to show you that one. And then uh, the other one that I stitched was one uh, Paris, and this one is just about finished. They're all going to be the same. Uh, they have the, it'll be a total of four little journals in there. And then this one was just the Eiffel Tower. And then this one was um, Le Garçon, or I guess the waiter. Um, my shadow is kind of bad in here, I apologize, but um, I wanted to show you those, and those should be uh, available in the next day or two. But back, back to this one, and um, let's see if I can't get in better in frame here. Um, so it is a nine by nine and a half file folder. Uh, I covered it with uh, some white linen, and I, it's something that I found at a, a thrift shop. I believe it was like a bed skirt, but um, it really was pretty, and it had this uh, beautiful uh, lace work or uh, applique. I'm not sure what it's called. I should just be quiet. <laughs> Uh, on it, and so I liked that. It has, I added a little gusset on the side so it gives it a little bit more room to. I'm sorry, um, for you to pull things, you know, put things in and out. And then um, it has uh, the front is just uh, the stitch work that I did. There's a little tassel and then I added two uh, little printouts and um, then I made it a little pocket so I added some tags here in the pocket and um, I really like these. This first one was just a dress form but it looks to me French because of the black and white. So I liked that. And then this was just a little uh, French lady, I guess, a little fa fashionista. I can't say that good, but I really liked that. I thought that was cute. And these are just blank for you to journal on. And then this is another just a little French lady walking her poodle. So I thought those were cute additions. And then uh, inside the file folder is, like I say, a total of four journals and then a tag and we'll go over that later but it's um, three mini file folders I sell these in my shop and uh, I'll go through those in a minute uh, but this is the uh, traveler's notebook and it is uh, eight by four it has 20 tea stained pages most of them are blank uh, for you to add your journaling and maybe if you're love fashion or style you know this will be the thing for you but the front is this beautiful image of a dress form corset and then I just added uh, a little corrugated cardboard that same um, linen uh, fabric and then some lace and then the um, closure, normally I do a bulldog closure, but um, it didn't work on this project. So I added, I sell these little uh, rusted, they're called D-ring fasteners, and uh, they worked great. And I added some sorry silk. So 
let's just go inside and then on the inside uh, it's just some pretty paper a digital print and then uh, I added a glassing bag and another one of the uh, dress form corset pictures and this pa paper I don't know if you can see it but it's I printed it on some shimmery cardstock and it's really beautiful it turns out really pretty and then there's just a, a library card in there for you to journal on and then like I said most of the pages are blank I won't say that every time they are all uh, tea stained um, this first page is just uh, tracing paper that I tea stained and then this is that same dress form uh, tag on the cover and then I saw I'm not sure who it was but they had used uh, snaps in their uh, tags or I'm not sure exactly what but I thought that would look so cute in a fashion uh, journal to have the little snaps so I added three the little three sizes of snaps and then that's just a fold out and so uh, the next page is just blank tracing paper and I added uh, some lace and a tiny rusted paper clip not paper clip um, safety pin and a small metal rim tag with a fleur-de-lis. And then um, this is just plain writing paper. And then this was just a digital printout uh, that I used to help put the fold out. I thought she was pretty. And then this is just some tea stained ledger paper and I had a little pocket and three tags. A little sew vintage sewing machine. Uh, beautiful lady getting dressed and then a more of a Victorian lady and they're blank on the back for you to journal on. I had those. And then this is just some music manuscript paper. I added a little metal rim tag with a flower on it just to help you pull the paper out. This is just some uh, dictionary paper. Then this is some ledger paper from around the 1900s. I love it. It's real sturdy, uh, but I, I love to use it. And then I added, again, the little lady and the uh, tag as the um, pull out. And I added some vintage or been looking, uh, what is that, cello tape. Then the center of the signature is an envelope, and I do that to hide the, the stitches, and this one just has a printout on the front. I added three corsage pins, and then inside is, uh, I believe it's four tags. Um... I believe this is just like a garment tag. It says to Paris and guaranteed washable. And this one is uh, Echo de la Mode. I'm not exactly sure what that was. This is a, a vintage Vogue pattern. And then this was just a, a Victorian lady. So those go inside there. And then the back is just some music paper and lace and uh, another metal room tag that I stamped on. This is the back of that ledger paper and just gives you plenty of room to journal. Uh, I made a tuck spot here with the dictionary page and then I added a tag that I had made and it says Paris is always a good idea and I believe that is a Audrey Hepburn quote. And then... Um, and just more of our pages. Then this is just uh, another metal rim tag to help you pull out the, whoops, pull out the paper. And, and so you have that. And then this is just a tag that I made. It is a denim tag with some, you could journal on the back. And I 
stamp the dress form on there and then I added the buttons and I hand stitched um, the, um, the side there. And then another print out and pull out. And then uh, just this page. And then again a dress form and it helps you pull out the paper. Another pull out. And then this one has a uh, pretty pink flower on the back. I believe that's a rose. And then just here is the end. And this is the back of it and just some pretty um, of that shimmery paper but it's just very faint uh, beautiful flowers on the back so that is the traveler's notebook and then uh, like I say I have three sizes of a mini I call them mini file folders and I sell these in my shop and the larger one I have two types. One is just a plain, you know, it's just folded, uh, no problem. This one is folded, but it has a, a spine. It's about 3 sixteenths of an inch, and it just gives you more room to add uh, pages. And then the front was just this beautiful uh, Victorian lady and some lace and some bling. And then inside, it kind of looks like a regular file folder I added. I sell these in my shop, um, the rusted metal prong fasteners, and then I added 10 pages of uh, tea stained paper. And then over here is just a pocket and a tag, and then it's also a tuck spot. So it's just a little place for you to add a few more little things that you wanted. But that's that one. And then the next size is this one, and I just added um, blank pages to these. But I thought she was so beautiful. And um, so just the inside is just blank pages. There's uh, eight pages total. And then um, it is just held together with the string. So that's that one. And then the, the smallest size that I sell is this beautiful lady. And I can't say the words in French, but it means with all my heart. And I, I really like that. Again, it's just blank pages. There's a total of eight. And then it is the string closure in the middle. So that is that. And then the other thing in um, the pocket was I had two, I guess they're uh, tags, just maybe, I'm, I'm not real sure uh, what they were used for, but uh, it's just a place for you to journal. And then on the front, I added two metal rim tags. One is just the measuring tape, and then the other one is the dress form. And what I did was I embossed them, and it helps them look a little bit more aged. So that is the folder and uh, inserts. It will be for sale on my Etsy shop, Rust Paper Scissors. I want to thank you for the time you spent with me and to look at this. I would appreciate any comments. I also want to say I hope everybody is safe and healthy. And hopefully I'll be back in the next couple of days with those other two file folders to share with you. Thank you so much. Bye.